Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And okay, Gemini, we we may okay. Hmm. Oh, we may, okay, Gemini. We uh, there's something about feeling confused right now, especially when it comes to the past. Maybe we are regretting, or or some of you might be, you know, uh, wondering if someone is regretting you know, something about what happened between you two. What's important for Gemini to know about this confusion though? I'm like getting this sense where we feel that we might've made the wrong choice or are we uh, going to regret some type of future choice here? So let's, let's get more about this confusion. We do have true love here and we do have family Okay, so I feel that there's something about you just not trying to figure it all out right now. Something will reveal itself, especially when it comes to love or family. Now, there could be a mixture or combination of wanting true love and uniting here and having a family or a blended family. And I see that as a possibility here with that true love and family. So there, there is a sense of, you know, soulmates, soul family. That's what I'm getting here. So uh, let's see what else is going to come out for you. This one wants to show itself. We do have the father of water and the father of God. So I feel the challenge. Oh, <laughs> Lenny's here with us. I feel the challenge may be to remain calm, especially when we have been told the truth or seen the truth, or maybe we had to accept some type of radical truth that, you know, could be overwhelming. My little kitten is here for you. <laughs> Uh, okay. So we do have someone that you can trust here. Um, this might be a time where, you know, you are doing what you can to align your mind, your heart, um, and your spirituality all in one place so that you can just be in this place of, um, contentment. Okay. And knowing that you're coming into a place of contentment, if you're not feeling that just quite yet, I see this radical truth as some, some type of awakening here. Something is happening or someone will show up and it will all make sense. But the most important for you to do right now, Gemini, is just to ride the, ride the wave right now or the waves, right? Some type of perhaps emotional roller coaster in a sense. Okay. <laughs> Well, and he doesn't know yet that this is work, but he'll get, he'll get used to this. Okay. What else for Gemini? We have the night of water. Yeah, this is a card of falling in love. It could also be uh, a card where we may be also obsessing, you know, about fulfillment. So we need to just go slow with a situation or a person. Okay. Now I do see that spirit is saying that there is going to be some type of um, awakening or maybe what would feel like a second chance here at some type of deep connection or intimate connection. Okay. So yes, we have falling in love or wedding proposal, uh, the need to balance emotions. Now that is coming through very strong because we have the father of water here. And this is someone who is, um, coming into or very mature already when it comes to emotional stability. And this confusion can cause some type of upheaval. So some of you, you might already realize something. You just might be questioning or possibly obsessing about something here. Um, I feel that spirit is freeing you in a situation to really trust. Okay. Especially when it comes to love, family, um, important relationships for you. But this is a time that you want to, you know, keep your, your love alive within yourself 
follow your dreams, follow your heart, but don't get too caught up with doing something, um, right away. Cause I feel that this confusion embodies like seven of cups and we could be, you know, wanting to do something or make a choice just to, uh, maybe fill up a void in a sense. Right. And, and it may backfire. So we just need to take our time with a new situation or with yourself. Self love is the key right now. Let's get more too with this night of water. We do have someone who is emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative. What else with this night of water? Water sign is coming through Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, I really feel that it's about keeping um, your emotions balanced at this time. And the only way you can do that is just being in tuned and aware. So, you know, go slow with things, make an effort to love yourself, your path right now. And maybe there is something for some of you that are already in a connection, or there may be something about healing and mending, you know, maybe there's something about repairing and mending. Um, and you may need to just make an effort here, right? Uh, to connect here. There may be something about, a you know, a telepathic or psychic connection as well. But I do see a situation where you um, are opening yourself up. So pay attention because I feel that this regret can also, you know, make you want to guard your heart where you got Father God coming here and showing you some type of radical truth, especially when it comes to family, true love. Okay, what else? Yeah, caution. Right now, you don't want to do anything too quick, too fast. You don't want to overcommit with something or someone either. Something is unveiling. And the more that you actually stay peaceful and calm in your inner world, the more we get clarity, okay? Because think of like when you shake up some water, maybe there's like a, well, just think about that. You know, if, you, if you're at the beach and you shake up the sand on the bottom or whatever, it gets a little cloudy, right? But let it settle, let the water be calm, and then it becomes clear here. And that's like the same thing with your emotions. The signs may be cautioning you. Um, pay attention and don't overlook red flags right now. You, you know, there is something about paying attention to the red flags. Don't avoid them. You don't have to necessarily react to it, but just observe and then and then allow some type of clarity bring you the truth. But you're, the truth won't be to get involved with something that we might be trying to push or pry open or possibly be obsessed about in a sense. So just take what resonates. Okay, what else for Gemini? Use your mind wisely and time for a beginner's mind. Don't let the past, don't let the past, uh, take control of what's possible, especially when it comes to relationships, fulfillment, whatever fulfillment you're desiring. Cause you, you know, there's that wanting the only challenge will be for you to not allow something from the past to play out in the future in a sense, because we, we have we've have, you know, it's like you've learned something here, but you don't have to be in a place where you feel that, um, history repeats itself. You have to repeat a lesson. So right now spirit is saying, remain objective. Know that you actually, I, you know, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting King of Swords coming through. Um, and, and that's telling me that there, there's something that is finalizing. We're coming to a conclusion. We're also getting all the information that's necessary, but it may take a little bit more time. So you, you do have to have patience. In the meantime, you want to sing your own song. Hang out with something right now because I feel you may even be kind of in the hangman position as well, um, Gemini. So there may be something where you, you may even feel that you're being punished in a sense or things just aren't working right. 
but don't be fooled. Things are working out right, but we might be trying to impede on what spirit is offering to you, which is something true and fulfilling. That's not to take away anything in the past, right? But the past is the past. We can't change that. We know that. All you got to do is be willing to express yourself fully because I feel with this time for beginner's mind, we might feel a little bit hesitant with coming out or expressing ourselves fully because we may have been hurt or we may be suspicious or too cautious, right? Yes, you can be cautious, but use your mind wisely here. You know, when you feel that you, you see signs that may, may say, hey, Gemini, focus, then focus. You know, if you see signs that some, something is a little off, take a step back. Don't rush into it. But this might be a time, too, where you're cleaning house mentally, emotionally. Something or someone is, is coming through here. So it's going to give you some type of clarity. And, and all you got to do right now is practice singing your own song um, or allowing yourself to sing your own song without feeling bombarded by any other energies that could really take away from you, you know, fully expressing yourself comfortably. Because this is like family. There's a sense of you feeling comfortable with another or others here. Okay, what else for Gemini? And you may be handling a lot of priorities or things at once. So just trust yourself that you're capable of handling it all. Rise and shine, love overflowing. Oh my goodness. See, trust in spirit. Spirit's bringing you a really good opportunity for fulfillment. We got the queen of wands. We have the altar of water, which is the ace of cups and the shaman, which is the higher font here. Trust the path, love overflowing, shine and rise. You know, I was talking about this awakening with this regret card. We're coming out of a really hard time or maybe a time where it just was confusing, right? We felt we were in the dark or we felt we had to endure some type of misfortune, but it's perfect right now with this mother of fire about shining and rising, believing, your, believing in yourself, knowing that you are attractive, magnetic, and you got what it takes to, to do what you want. And I do feel there's something strong, or maybe you'll feel it even more where you're, you're eradicating judgments of yourself or things that or judgments that may be portrayed on you because you're doing what you want to do with the mother of fire here in a sense too this mother of fire has resurrected herself and not only has she resurrected herself but she's made something very fertile something um, passionate something that could be long lasting and I do see fulfillment with someone here. I mean, they could embody fire sign. They could embody earth sign, water sign. I mean, they could be, embody any sign, but these ones are coming out right now. True love, fulfillment. I mean, this is Ace of Cups. Love your rebirth is what spirit is saying. Don't regret some change. Don't, don't feel like it was going to be better if you would have stayed or didn't do something or, or whatever, right? Because we're not living with regrets. This is your time that you are feeling the full glory of your awakening and being strong and magnetic. Some of you, you might even find a path or a role to play in life, you know, leadership role or something here that you truly love, that you feel was a gift from God. And it is. Trust in the path right now. You don't want to shake anything up too. So take your time with things, slow and steady with the shaman. Uh, seek out a mentor or guide or support. Whatever you got to do to maintain balance and harmony within your own physical vessel. And you're, you're, you're going to be just fine. You're making it out of some type of storm. 
And here you are because you, oh, see, I, I see the six of swords behind that father of water where you took on the journey of going into the unknown, or at least, you know, you had to, you had to move into a place where you were seeking, searching, and staying with a, a place of serenity, peace, right? Resolutions or, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And here you are because you've done that journey You've matured here. And you're also bringing a situation to you from the heavens. And you do have what it takes. So some of you also take this if it resonates, because not all of you may feel or want to be in some type of spiritual authority. But I do see that being a, a big potential for you if you're not doing that already. You know, lead the way. Have a beginner's mind on what's possible, not what isn't possible. I know it can be really hard, especially I feel as we get older, we can, we can tend to create a lot of stories in our mind and our heart, the what ifs, and then it can be hard to open up more and more, but think of yourself as, um, an onion, <laughs> And you smell good, okay? It's like that good smelling onions, especially when it's cooking, like that mother of fire is cooking that onion. It smells so good. Anyways, you know, I'm teasing. It's just, you know, peeling back those layers. And that's what you're doing here. Shedding the old skin. What else? So your, your journey is bringing you rewards here. Hmm. The patriarch, we have the emperor here. This is uh, associated with Aries. So yes, we are in a position or in a, in a place of power or coming into one. You may, you may be tricking yourself too, in a sense of thinking something isn't right or stable, but it is. You got to keep trusting the path. This is, this is this whole thing about this father of water. So I do feel a lot of you Gemini's have, um, you have like a good blend of the water, air, and fire going on here. And I do feel like this uh, more of a leader is like, like more pronounced coming out of you. <laughs> so here you are as a patriarch, the emperor, whether you're a man or woman, and you're using logic, you're utilizing self-discipline and determination and you're getting things maybe reorganized or organized in the way that you see fit. Some of you, Gemini's, you may even be in a place that you feel, because not all of you are going through this, but some of you are, you may even feel that you are having to, you know, test your leadership um, abilities, especially when if you feel that you are having to uh, confront someone that may have a lot of power or have been, or has been overpowering to you. And it even could be family too. It could be a father <laughs> or a mother. And also if, you know, when we're talking about like a good father or spouse or a companion and partner, I mean, the patriarch is the emperor. And so we are in a place of having or being with someone, um, that knows what they're doing. You also are a natural born leader too, a uh, Gemini. So you need to know that things are more safe and secure than you realize because you do have this emperor energy that's going on with you. And yes, you guys, I've, God is bringing you someone here. It's some kind of good fulfillment. It's a good relationship. Heal whatever relationship that you can right now, if you want, right? It's mostly just with yourself here, but keep continuing to trust. You're going to be given some type of opportunity for fulfillment. What else? Hmm, we got the total disruption. And it's, it's actually kind of perfect too. Some of you are already in it, or you may need to prepare for these changes, right? This is the death card. It's associated with Scorpio. You know, this total disruption is the reason why the father, uh, the balance and the harmony, the father of water is coming out because we do need to remain strong emotionally and mentally during changes that 
we have no control over, but it does bring profound transformation. This is definitely an end of a phase. And I can see that because I feel that this is all about stepping out of this regret and awakening to a whole new life or a new way. It may feel uncomfortable. It may be challenging because, you know, we have to come in in a, a place where we, we, we just don't have much experience. But this is what makes you a great leader because you're willing to be a student. And when you're willing to be a student, the teacher arise or arrives. <laughs> or maybe you are rising, right? And you are the teacher too. But we all, I think it's good to always be a student too and have that mindset. So total disruption is at play here, but know that these changes are necessary and it is bringing, you know, new blessings. And it's like everything here has been, you know, maybe disrupted or come to an end. And now we have new seeds that we have planted and we just are going to give it our love, which is your hope, your faith, um, nurturing your inner and outer self and watch your seeds grow. What else? And this is why this whole thing about rise and shine with this mother of fire, be bold, be strong. See, see your transformation is beautiful. Now, it doesn't come without some pains and challenges, that's for sure, but you can rest assured that you are having great success. I, I do sense something with like six of wands or maybe having some type of recognition or, um, you know, maybe you rise up in status with something here in your work field or, you know, maybe it's just in life in general, but yes, your transformation is beautiful. See, own this. Now, remember what I was saying, we feel a little, we feel inexperienced, right? Because you went through the dark, you, ha you went through that metamorphosis, you got your wings here, things may feel a little wibbly and wobbly, you know, on that water, the roller coaster a little bit, but you're going to be just fine, right? Steady, be steady here, because the Knight of Cups is moving and gliding, and that's what you want to do, but you don't want to, you don't want to, um... You don't want to go too quick on something or someone. So yeah, give yourself a little wiggle room to figure things out, make mistakes, um, create new wisdom for the next phase that you're in already. What else? Truth tra transcends illusion. Oh, there's another card that wants to come out. Let's see. What is this one? Okay. This is this father of God, the radical truth. Look at this. Truth transcends illusion and spirit has a plan. So if something hasn't come into clarity or you've had some type of insight or revelation that really changes the way that you perceive things or are in tuned and aware with things, it will happen. You're also seeing some type of radical truth where spirit has been showing you signs all along. So if something didn't go your way or it feels like a misfortune, know that spirit has a plan because all you got to do is practice singing your own song. Practice makes perfect. You're not wearing <laughs> the opinions of others as your apparel. You're doing what you want to do. You're paying attention to the things you want to pay attention to. You're also being really creative. So I feel that if, if you're not feeling some type of creative surge or passion igniting, you will. Let's get a little bit more about what's, what's the truth that transcends illusion. Let's get a little bit more about that too. Could be this whole thing about releasing this regret because now we've come into some type of wholeness and understanding and compassion for ourselves and others, which by the way, takes a level of maturity. And I'm going to tell you right now, Gemini, not all souls can do that. <laughs> not all souls can do that. Or if they do there, it takes a long time.
But I, I get this thing about you being unstoppable. This is what I love about your energy. This is why spirit doesn't give up because you don't give up. What's this truth transcends illusion for Gemini? Give us more about that. Because I know you're, you're attracting a harmonious relationship, things that are more balanced for you because you've come into this place of great maturity. Maybe, maybe you don't feel like it, some of you, but maybe some of you do. Some of you, there could be, take it if it resonates, a guidance counselor here, a healer, someone who can give great advice. T truth transcends illusion. Spirit has a plan. This is the son of pentacles. Yeah, this is being on a trusted path. This is also taking things slow. You know, you are in this place of watching, waiting, doing what you need to do, conserving your time, your resources, your energy in the meantime, because something isn't, hasn't come to this full ripening just yet, right? We've ended something. We're planting seeds with that knight of pentacles. We're giving all we can with that effort and watch the plan work out. And I feel that spirit has a plan with sending you someone too for those that are um, needing that camaraderie or support or companionship. I don't want to move, Lenny. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to. Okay, we'll just want to work around them because he's sleeping really good. <laughs> what else for Gemini? Nothing is wasted. Yeah, trust the great mystery. To me, this is that total disruption too, that nothing is wasted. We may, this is that regret too. We may feel that we've put so much time and energy into something and just to see it just go to shit. I'm sorry, but maybe that's what it felt like. You know, this is a death card. It's not easy. Nobody ever says, says it was easy. But the fact that you are being unstoppable and knowing what's rightfully yours is what's making um, miracles happen for you. Trust the great mystery because spirit says whatever you have experienced has brought you to this place of being bold, of being strong and being on fire when it comes to trusting the great mystery. I see this mother of fire utilizing her fire energy to literally clean out her aura to her energy field. This is that, you know, death card here, right? We're cleaning house completely because we have to. So it's like that fire is burning the debris, the excess of the past. And now we have like this fiery shield of energy or excuse me, protection. Trust the great mystery. Heaven is holding your hand. You need to see yourself as, you know, the infant right now in God's eyes because, you know, you're, you're at this place of, you know, ha being inexperienced with a new situation. And yes, you are being watched over. Okay, what else? Oh, this one should go over here. This is the moon card. Creature of Earth, <laughs> take charge. This is the Sun of Pentacles again, which is the Knight of Pentacles again, and the moon card. This is a time where you can revise or make your plans even better. You know, sometimes we just have to do that. You're in this process of, you know, metamorphosing in that what seems like maybe the dark night of the soul or, you know, a period of mystery and darkness, but you are being guided as long as you take charge, holding something steady. Don't do too many things either. Gemini, if you have the choice and you don't need to do too, too much, uh, a lot of things, then try to eliminate what you don't need to do because you're focusing on planting reliable seeds in your life here that will grow into tangible good fortune, like tangible, real, touch it, hold it. Also, Gemini, you got to give into the mystery when it comes to a relationship. Someone's here. 
They're making their way to you and you're making your way to them. Now, not all of you are looking for a relationship, but just be open to something when it comes to a connection. It could be a good friend. It could be what feels like a family. It could be a lover. It could be a business partner. Not, not all can be revealed, but... Remember what you're being told here. Spirit has a plan, even in the dark. <laughs> the truth transcends illusion. Yeah, something, something wasn't quite right. Okay, what else? Hmm. Your spiritual rebirth. <laughs> this is the star card associated with Aquarius. You may feel like things aren't, you know, going your way, but hopefully you do. I hope that in your deepest part of your, the depth of your soul, you know everything is going to be all right. In fact, I know you do. I know you do, Gemini. We just get a little, we get thrown around though with the circumstances, right? Because we're just like, oh my goodness. But that's what life is, right? It's about this beautiful dance between you and spirit, you and others, right? We can't force spirit to give us everything that we want in the way that we want it, but we can put it out there of what we desire, what, what it would feel like, and then allow spirit to put it in spirit's package and send it to you. That's dancing with spirit, right? Also with people sometimes, and, and I know you know this too, like if you felt like you've been controlled or you're controlling someone, it doesn't feel good. It just, it doesn't feel compatible when we have to do that it's you know it just exerts your energy now it doesn't mean that we don't do that all at times because sometimes we do have to pull the reins or take control right now though don't don't regret anything i know it can be tough especially with that moon card and this regret the confusion because we don't know what we're stepping into we don't know the outcome but with the star card you can rest assured that the end of a difficult situation is finally over you're coming into some type of alignment here and you're coming to some type of great truth so yes destiny has uh, awoken within you, your path, and also others. What else? So I feel that fate has blocked a path for you, okay, on purpose to get you back onto track here. You may resonate with the last SOS reading that the video um, is in the description. The link to that video is in, in the description box below. But whenever you get this video and it resonates for you, then it's for you. But I am supposed to be doing another SOS tonight. So we will see. I'll hopefully get that out. Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're going to overcome some type of obstacle. Just don't go too fast. The, the secret is the faster you try to move with something or someone, like if you're just trying to rush something, it, it will, it will cause more confusion. It'll cause more doubt. Take things slow. Okay. You're, I feel that you're actually on a detour here. It's kind of strange that I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. You know, the monarch, this is the chariot. It's like you're riding your chariot, right? And so you're on, you're on your course. And sometimes there's a course correction or we have to take a detour. <laughs> but you can safely be assured that whatever direction that you're going, which is most likely a new direction because we have that <laughs> ending with the jumpy card, the death card. So we got to move in that direction. Don't, don't let your motivation die. Don't let your determination die, right? Because that, that star card is feeding hope. It's that effort. Let's get a little bit more too. Because there, there is a lot going on with you. I feel that you're having to handle a lot of things, many things at once, including your own spiritual transformation. 
Okay, what's important for um, Gemini to know about this monarch? And I can't remember which Egyptian goddess this was, but she's the one where they try to erase her from, they try to erase her from um, mem memory or from history. I guess that's what I meant to say. But she, she, you know, is just as powerful as any man, you know, and so she's, yeah, there's more to it, but maybe I'll <laughs> be able to speak more about that later when I look it up more. But anyhow, determination, self-control, there may be something big about self-control here. What's important for Gemini to know about the monarch? Oh, yeah, intuition and knowingness. Just keep moving. You know, Spirit is saying that you already know, and I was getting this too. So there is something about you trusting your own intuition, your own vision, your own plans. You may need to keep those to yourself for the time being. But Spirit is saying right now you know to go into some type of new direction, so go for it. Maybe it's just with your mind or your heart, right? What else? Ah, the loner. Isolation and introspection. Yeah, I see the illuminated one here, right? Intuition and knowing is you do hold divine knowledge. I mean, this is why spirit is communicating with you. The plan, this is Knight of Pentacles. We're implementing the plan, possibly Re revisiting plans, be willing to revisit plans. Take time out. You need to, I, I feel that you do. There's something going on here. Cause I'm feel, oops, I was hitting the microphone. I feel like there's too many, too many cups up in front of your face with that seven of cups here. And also be un un unapologetic if you do need your own time, your own space, right? Because sometimes we feel bad when we, when, when we want to tell others no. Virgo is showing up with the loner. What's important for um, Gemini to know about the hermit here? You know, knowing, knowing, knowing the answers, getting the answers. Also, um, Gemini, what I see too is, see, you're just holding, ah, you're just holding that light. You're taking charge here. You're moving slow. This is the key, right? You're moving slow. You're getting more and more comfortable with your new set of wings. Look at you coming in with the twins. You are manifesting an important relationship. I, you know, whether you want it, uh, or ready for it or whatever, it's coming. A conscious connection. I'm getting this message, message like you're not seeking them. It's like they're seeking you. Or, you know, what you seek is seeking you. If you haven't or don't know much about the law of attraction, learn, study about the law of attraction right now. There's a lot going on when it comes to, you know, um, other people at play in their destiny. So we are waiting patiently. <laughs> it's like you're waiting on the sidelines for the other players to come and play. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You know, too, Gemini, um, if you haven't already made some decisions that are healthy and wise for you, you do know what's important for you. I can see this. So in the meantime, you, you know, all you can do right now is just give in to singing your own song, getting to know your situation, your new situation a little bit better, maybe yourself a little bit better too. And there may be something where, where you can, um, you know, you'll be soaking up some knowledge that is really interesting, you know, very um, mindful in the way where, you know, I'm kind of thinking where you get full from eating. <laughs> Your mind gets full. Okay, what else?
And I, I, I can see, you know, I feel that you're attracting like a twin, a twin, twin mate. Look, it's like another creature of earth, which is that son of pentacles here. Oh my gosh, altar of air. Good news, good beginning, good juju. So a, a way is going to be shown to you. This is the ace of wands. There's going to be an opportunity that presents itself. And there's no way you can miss it. It's going to lead you right. In fact, you might even feel an, a surge of energy to, you know, like where you feel really spontaneous and it's kind of maybe feels risky in a way because you're just, you're taking a chance. Do it. It's worth taking a chance here. And I'm getting this thing about peace and freedom with this ace of wands, especially with two, when it comes to maybe even your own uh, sexuality, sensuality, really comfortable in your own skin. So just when you need it, directions, um, a way inspiration makes its way to you. As long as you take charge and not wait around for someone, some of you might be waiting around for someone, but look at this. We have to take charge because somehow your destiny and another's other's destinies are lining up and it's perfect timing. We can't change something or hang on to something or someone that doesn't want to come along or hasn't done maybe possibly the soul work in a sense. But I do see that, you know, the thing that we could be battling is trying to figure out if we made a mistake in the past, did we make the right choice in the past? You did. Give yourself some time though. What else? Mm -hmm. It's going to be your season. You did handle a misfortune quite well. We all go through ups and downs. It's, you know, twists and turns with this wheel of fortune. The wheel of change brings positive changes. It's going to be your season. Rise and shine. And to also be quite impactful just by being yourself and powerful. There's a lot of goddess energy surrounding you too. Okay, there's a card that wants to come out with this will of change. This is the will of fortune. You see clearly now. <laughs> Yep. There's nothing that, I mean, truth transcends illusion. So there's going to be some positive changes when it comes to a way, um, you know, and also being able to see the truth, maybe whatever, you know, that tries a cloud judgment will be eradicated. There could even be a situation where others try to weave deception around you too, or it could even be our past trying to weave, you know, deception in our future because we might not, we might still be holding on to some type of old hurt, but I don't see that nest now for a lot of you. I just feel that you're breaking free. You're seeing something in someone too, and you're seeing the positive changes. So pay attention to signs and omens. They're leading you right here. Pay attention to how things are leading up, right? Synchronicities. Notice those to increase it's flow. What else? Ah, see freedom, choose freedom and the sun card. <laughs> Here it is. You see clearly. So we have a real power shift here. You got the sun card. You're also feeling lively. We're also seeing something or someone that, I mean, truly, there is someone here that just ignites some type of great passion within you. And we have the freedom to just go and do what we want, or, or that's just how it feels. We're compatible in some sense. Some of you have been in training for a while, and now you're putting all of the, these things that you've been in training for and putting it to use. 
It's like you may even be known for making a way or something about your presence or achievements here. This whole thing about an ex you know your path being exposed that brings you bliss. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Gemini, you got a lot of good jujus going on. <laughs> Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Gemini. This card is saying something too, so I'm just going to take that as a bonus. How How is spirit helping Gemini? And it's probably that one too. <laughs> Oh, nice. Release new possibilities, unexpected possibilities, and taking a leap of faith, being spontaneous, changing up some type of routine. You know, because sometimes with this nothing, when we're in a, a maybe, you know, in regret, we can, we can actually build like a habit of that, you know, and we get into a pattern. So break up the pattern, maybe break up the monotony, whatever you got to do, maybe be spontaneous or do something different, try on something different but you are releasing yourself from whatever needs to be released and to own and love your transformation and have unexpected um, possibilities here. Look at that, the unknown. Sometimes we just have to step into that unknown and allow things to just fall into place without feeling like we have to control it, coerce it, I don't know, you know, sway the outcome. We can just be. And so the more that you're just singing your own tune, enjoying your life the way that your life is now, the easier these things just start to fall into place. It's like through that void, that moon card, where it's more of feeling, right? And, and it's through feeling and guidance that everything, everything and everyone seems to kind of find their place together. This is a time where you need to really rely on your faith and the higher forces more than ever. And it's safe for you to trust even in the unknown because spirit has a plan and all you got to do is be available for these opportunities, these directions, the signs, by staying awake, right? <laughs> I don't know why I want to say that, but you're that, that, that rise and shine, that queen of wands, awake. All right, let's find out what do you have to look forward to in the near future for Gemini? Oh, oh. Hi, Gemini. <sighs> you got the Empress. What you have to look forward to? Wow. Um, we got we got great we we got fortune that I you know this just you okay Gemini. <laughs> I would say work on you know, feeling very abundant, um, feeling worth those abundance as well. And getting to a place where you can practice not making excuses for the good fortune that comes your way, because you are the heir to the inheritance of the good fortune the ancestors have left for you to find. S your inheritance comes from the heavens above. I don't care how it shows up, your paycheck, I don't care. You're forming a lot of abundance and you are coming to this place or you're already in the place where spirit is saying, enjoy your life, nurture the harvest. All you got to do is nurture the empress and the high priestess is actually in the yin energy. So we're not forcing and the father of water out of all the Kings would be the feminine, um, would be the feminine. So we have feminine energy here. The, I mean, we have the patriarch, which is the counterpart which I see this is true love that we have the, excuse me, we have the emperor. That's a counterpart here. Um, the, the yang energy, the masculine energy, but the yin energy is we're receptive. We're, you know, passive, but yet, I don't know, like submissive, but not 
not to the point where you allow, I mean, cause we have, we have a strong mother protection as well. So, um, you don't, we don't mess with any mother's, uh, babies in any, uh, animal <laughs> like kingdom. So you can just un understand that, uh, the great mother and the great father is basically coddling you. <laughs> I, I don't know why I say coddling because it's time, it's time for you to feel spoiled. How about, you know, looking forward to being spoiled spiritually, materially, and knowing that you have the right to all of these good things. Um, the ability to keep on creating or providing more abundance in your life, a time too, where you might be really feeling so good and comfortable in your own skin. You know, you may even feel untouchable and that's exactly that star card. We're in a place. Yes. Others may even see you as being untouchable. Your good fortune is making its way to you. All you got to do is sing your own song. Cause when you sing your own song, the universe hears you, your fortune hears you and comes right to you. It's your vibration. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.